In ancient times, naming was rooted in knowing that a name or the power of the word expressed over a person, place, or thing expressed the essence of that person, place, or thing. So it mattered what you named a child. For example, Adam was told to name the animals, and that had significance. Abraham's name was changed to Abram. Sarah's name was changed to Sarai. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Genesis 32:28 says, Your name will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have striven with God and with men and have prevailed. Today, I want to introduce Gabriel Tamara, my seventh born child of eight. Her name in Hebrew means an angel who is dedicated to God. It's also been interpreted to mean woman of God and or God is my strength. Gabriel is derived from the male version of Gabriel. Tamara means spice, and living with and watching Gabriel Tamara for 32 years, I can vouch for her dedication to God, her belief and trust in divinity, and as she would say it, as divinity would have it, position. I can also witness her spiciness through her teen years. She has a great eye for solving problems, and her ethics are admirable. She also possesses the following traits. She's authoritative. She has a powerful disposition, a tough stance on positions. She has a tenacious way of being. She's wealthy. She has a wealthy way of being. And she's a great problem solver. And she has already made great achievements thus far. Now for her talent. Gabriel is a singer and songwriter. I discovered this while sitting in my kitchen when she was around 13. One day while she was upstairs, I heard Gabriel sing from a distance. My ear is finely tuned when I hear music. This day, I stretched my ears because I thought one of my children had the radio on. On a day when music wasn't permitted in the house because of religious reasons. I asked my husband, Do you hear that? Is that the radio? We listened closely and discovered that it was Gabriel. That was when I discovered that Gabriel had a beautiful and gorgeous singing voice. I'm so glad it was put in me to name her Gabriel because she is living up to its meaning. I am going to read the words of her creation. And then I will play the song, and you will see her character, too. You can say you heard Gabriel's voice here on the Be Aware podcast first. And then you can go to her channel and support her there. It's called Gabe's Corner. See if the words resonate with you as I read some stanzas, and then we'll listen to the song. She says, oh, Lord, you touched me, and I ain't been the same. We got that Psalms kind of love, P-S-A-L-M-S. You got me singing praises. You're worthy. You're worthy, oh, God. You are worthy. You're worthy, oh, God. And I just want to walk with you because with you, I'll go further. I didn't know the marks I made back then. I learned from the mistakes I made, and now I see the scars I made on them. And I can't help but pray for them. Thank you, God. You got me walking the proper way. Thank you, God. You picked me up from a deadly place. Thank you, God. You got me walking the proper way. Now let's listen to her singing.
beautiful was that? Thank you, God. You got me walking the proper way. So Gabriel was a little camera shy this time, but that's fine. You heard her. Support her. Gabe's Corner, YouTube. Thank you for listening. Peace and shalom.